if you're on TikTok, you've probably seen a lot of videos mm. talking about bed rotting. Yeah, it's where you just stay in bed to sleep and watch TV all day long. Well, this morning, Christine Lay with Kelsey's Seabold Clinic joins us to talk more about this. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. So what are some of the reasons behind people bed rotting? And is this an actual problem? Well, we do understand that six to eight hours of sleep a night is great for heart health. But if people stay in bed much longer than that, well, it might sometimes affect their health in ways that are unexpected. So what are some of the ways? Because you could hear in our voices that we actually thought that actually sounds right. like a nice day every <laughs> once in a while. But I think what you're saying is, is if you're doing it maybe too often or too many days in a row, that it, it might be something that affects you. And it might say something about what's going on with you mentally, too. Correct. Sometimes if uh, you're sleeping in on the weekends, who doesn't do that? But if someone suddenly starts spending 24-7 the complete weekend by themselves, just staying in bed, and in the last two weeks if someone has had little interest or pleasure of doing things, well, sometimes that could mean signs of depression. And then that would be important to reach out to the doctor's office for evaluation and recommendations. For sure. Well, what are some healthy ways to recharge and deal with stress while also staying active? Well, remember, it's hot outside, and so I always get concerned about dehydration. So if you are active outside with your family and friends and pets, please stay active early in the morning or late in the evening. Make sure that you're hydrating very well, relaxing like yoga, reading a book, uh, lots of things that you can do that keeps you out of the bed. So how do we know if it's just, you know what, it's been a long week, I just need a break and a rest versus this actually might be something where, you know, something's going on with me that I'm not aware of and maybe I need to see someone and just check and make sure that I'm not depressed. That's a great question. So for example, if you're just sleeping in, that's not a big deal. But if your usual weekends involve hanging out with the girlfriends, taking the dog for a walk, if suddenly in the last two weeks you really feel like not doing anything, then we sometimes wonder, mm -hmm. are you dehydrated? Could your blood pressure be up? Could you have silent sugar diabetes? Could there be anemia? Sometimes if it's different from your usual, it may be time to reach out to your local doctor's office for evaluation and recommendations. All right, definitely got to keep those things in mind. Well, thanks so much again, Dr. Christine Lay with Kelsey Seabold Clinic. We appreciate you.